This is step up, welcome to part eight. Okay, so let's further cover the oil, the Holy Spirit, the portion of the wise and profitable servant versus the foolish, unprofitable servant. Then he who had received the one talent came and said, Lord, I knew you to be a hard man, reaping where you have not sown, and gathering where you have not uh, scattered seed. These are the people who are saying, it's impossible to be holy. It's impossible to uh, please God. You know, it's impossible to be holy, to, ob to be obedient. So, it's too difficult, so why do you expect me to do that? That's what your grace is for. I don't have to work, so I'm just going to go ahead and just live the life I want to live, not submit to you, and not produce works of the Holy Spirit. Okay. And I was afraid, and I went and hid your talent in the ground. This fear is cowardice, which is of the flesh. It's showing you they're operating in the flesh, okay? Look, there you have what is yours. And because they're not operating in the Spirit, they're operating in the flesh. They're not increasing the Holy Spirit by doing the works of the Holy Spirit. But his Lord answered and said to him, You wicked and lazy servant, you knew that I reaped where I have not sown. That's saying you have work to do. You have an obligation. Your faith is not lip service. Your faith is action. It's a verb. You act it out. Okay? Faith without works is dead. And gathered where I have not scattered seed. So you ought to have deposited my money with the bankers, and at my coming I would receive back my own with interest. He's looking for more than he's given. He's given you the ability now to increase it. When you have the Holy Spirit, he's the only one who gives the Holy Spirit, and then once you have it, you... By that Holy Spirit, God living in you can increase it. He gives you that ability and the free will to do that so that he can differentiate and evidence can be stacked up of who is wise in the records and who is foolish. When it comes to the day, people will be asking when the judgment falls and some are taken and some are left. Half are taken, half are left, left. One is taken, one is left. Therefore, take the talent from him. Take, take that oil from him. Take the Holy Spirit from him and give it to, to the one who has ten talents. Give it to the one who has more, who's been working the hardest. Go ahead. Here, you take that portion of that fellow who's lazy. For to everyone who has, more will be given, and he will have abundance. But from him who does not have, even what he has will be taken away. And cast the unprofitable, here's, here's, here's where the time of testing comes in, here's where they're left out of the rapture, cast the unprofitable profitable servant into the outer darkness. There will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Wow. Where have we heard there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Let's look at one other place. Luke 13, the narrow door. The narrow door. Wide is the path to destruction. 
Then Jesus traveled through the towns and villages, teaching as he made his way toward Jerusalem. Lord, someone asked him, Will only a few people be saved? Jesus answered, and by the way, they are asking him this stuff because his teachings are very hard. They keep saying, your teachings, Lord. Who can believe? Who, who, who will he? They're very hard. They're very, these are hard teachings, Lord. Make, Jesus answered, make every effort to enter through the narrow door for many I tell you, we'll try to enter and will not be able to. Many will cry, Lord, Lord, have I not prophesied in your name? This is what he's talking about. So let's take a look at that. Matthew 7, 21. A tree and its fruit, you shall know them by their fruit. Do they, are they having works of the Holy Spirit? Are they working and operating the Holy Spirit? Are they producing works of true faith, of the Holy Spirit inside them? Are they increasing it, increasing the Holy Spirit inside them by their works? by working in the Holy Spirit? Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only he who does the will of my Father in heaven. Not your will, not your word, not your interpretation. God's study to show thyself approved. Pray without ceasing because you're going to need it. We're told to, okay? Many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name and in your name drive out demons and perform many miracles? They're showing signs. There's false signs too, by the way. And they can start off in the spirit, the portion that they're given, and then work and then stop working and then let it die. Then I will tell them plainly, I never knew you. Depart from me, you workers of lawlessness. He's telling them he never knew them because they 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 didn't stick with him. He they didn't get to know him very well. Knew you Taking in knowledge, come to know, learn, okay? This is a teaching. This is learning, okay? You learn about someone. You're learning about God, and God, God is saying, because you're drawing close to me, I will draw close to you, okay? That's what this is referencing in Scripture. If you abide in him, he will abide in you. A, the vine must abide in the, the, the vine must abide in the branch. Without it, it is dead. And if, oh, my goodness, please, brothers and sisters, then I will tell them plainly, I never knew you. Depart from me, you workers of lawlessness. Therefore, every one, lawlessness, what is that? Iniquity, disobedience, disobedience, they, they sin. It's disobedience, lawlessness, iniquity, sin. Iniquity means constant sin that you're not repenting of. It's unrepentant sin building up. That means you have to keep repenting. 
Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and acts on them is like a wise man, a wise virgin, a profitable servant who builds his house on, a, on the rock. Okay. Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and acts on them, acts again, works on them, increases, studies it out, works on them, is like a wise man who built his house on a rock. Then rain fell. The torrents raged, and the wind blew and beat against it, the ho that house. So that's all the tribulations we're going through our life that we experience in all different ways. Yet it did not fall. We stand because we keep building the Holy Spirit in us. We keep faithful. We keep the faith. We keep trusting God, who he is, and how he is, and get to know him, draw closer to him, abiding in him, so that he can draw close to us. And then we know each other because it's a relationship because it's the foundation was on the rock but everyone who hears these words of mine does not act on them does not act on them is like a foolish man who built his house on sand then a rain fell on it the torrents raged the wind blew and beat against it and it fell they fall away from the faith because and great was its collapse so that's what the lord was showing me in my dream too that the house of god his vessels here that are filthy they're about to collapse his house is about to collapse on the earth the apostate church the lukewarm the watered down look at this when jesus had finished saying the crowds were amazed at his teachings all right, anyways, uh, so the Lord wanted me to cover that. Okay, so back, after the master, you know, the narrow door, the master of the house weeping and gnashing, okay? So the master of the house gets up and shuts the door. You will stand outside knocking and saying, Okay, so make every effort to enter through the narrow door. For many, I will tell you, will try and will not be able to enter. After the master of the house gets up and shuts the door, you will stand outside knocking, saying, Lord, open the door for us. But he will reply, I do not know where you are from. You're not mine. You didn't stick with me. You left me like a harlot okay then you will say we ate and drank with you and taught in our and you taught in our streets and he will answer i tell you i do not know where you are from depart from me all you evil doers these are people still thinking that they can keep going on with their sins not trying to not repenting not trying to turn from them not praying for the Lord to send his spirit to do so to increase the spirit in them so that they can work in the Holy Spirit produce fruits of the Holy Spirit the evidence of your faith <sighs> there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth when you see Abraham Isaac and Jacob and all the prophets in the kingdom of God but you yourselves are thrown in out you're cut out left behind people will come from the east and the west and the north and south and will recline at the table in the kingdom of god from all over the earth and indeed some who are last will be first and some who are first will be last not too late to be saved not too late to do the right thing not too late to be wise the thief on the cross was saved at the last minute by his faith because he acted it out Believe in your heart and profess it. Act it out. And abide in that faith. Don't depart from that faith. Don't depart from that faith. Don't be like Esau who sold his birthright and had his crown taken by Jacob because he was foolish and he thought and operated from the flesh. I pray this blesses you. May the peace of Christ be with you in all your own. Amen.